what's going on youtube pj back with another video and uh today we don't really have much planned it is currently two days before christmas december 23rd and i need to get on this road because i need to go to st francisville i'm going to get a haircut hence why i have this hat on even though it's cold like if you don't know louisiana is not really cold ever our winter is probably like three months max starting at the end of december on to whatever three months is like the beginning of march maybe yeah i just wanted to make a small little update video for y'all and uh tell y'all what i have going on right now but as i let my truck warm up uh i'm just gonna talk to you guys and then i'm gonna get on the road so if y'all are anything like me and you like to do a lot of last minute christmas shopping then i'm gonna keep y'all in my prayers because i know this Christmas is going to be hectic for a lot of people and uh, a lot of people are out Christmas shopping right now and the stores are empty. I just went in Walmart last night. That was to pick up a few little smaller things to get for like as, as accessories for the gifts that I got for the people that I have gifts for. Yeah, it's uh, it's atrocious up in there. I'm not even going to lie. And I just wanted to say uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. This one is uh, kind of special to me because my homeboy Christian He's been going through a lot with trying to, you know, start his family and everything, him and his wife. And I just want to say congratulations on their new child, their new son, and my little nephew, Eli. You're going to be very spoiled, dude. I'm just letting you know. And uh, for me to be able to look back on this video one day and be like, dang, that was the time whenever Eli first was born. Like, I don't know. Just thinking about that. Uh, I don't have any kids. I don't have any as of right now uh not sure when i'm gonna have kids but that's neither here nor there i'm not gonna even think about that at this moment i do need to get on the road because i am running kind of late a little bit late and uh turn some of this heat up so yeah let's uh hop on this road i'm telling y'all my truck saying it's 26 degrees but with the wind chill it's like three or four degrees out right now it's way too cold for me dog i was backing out of my driveway and whoo Y'all could just feel the fear I had and the scare that was in my mind whenever I saw this. Oh my God, but it's nothing but dirt. That can wash right off. Okay, so the topic of what I want to talk about today is I have officially began the process of me trying to host an event. A monthly event is going to be a monthly event and I just wanted to explain that to y'all. So starting next month, I do want to host some type of cruising slash cars and coffee, I guess you would call it, in uh, my hometown of St. Francisville. And so... What I plan to do is start off in Baton Rouge because a lot of people would be commuting from Baton Rouge and surrounding areas to uh, try to attend the event. My plan is to start off at like a gas station or some kind of lot in Baton Rouge where everybody can. And uh, yeah, like around 8.30ish, that would be the meetup time. And around nine o'clock, we will pull out after uh, some type of meeting that I would try to host with everybody. But we will pull out and we will drive probably about 30 minutes up to my hometown of St. Francisville and mind you like I did try to show y'all in my last video that St. Francisville is pretty much a beautiful place it's a nice chill community a lot of the people up there are nice and you know like we can we can definitely make some dope car content up there if I had more like-minded car people up there and not you know some people that like to wreak havoc in the middle of intersections and stuff. We done warmed up a little bit. Warmed up a little bit. <laughs> I swear this truck, bro. This truck. Just wait till I'm finished with it and have an actual nice tow rig. Dog, I can't wait. I can't wait. Like I was saying, though, St. Francisville is a pretty nice place to host an event. And uh, we used to have a ferry that used to transport people from St. Francisville to New Rose. But now we have the world's longest 
no not worlds the nation's longest suspension bridge or something like that the Audubon bridge that uh people take to get over there now so the ferry is pretty much not a thing anymore so speaking of the ferry i brought it up because the old ferry landing is where i want to host this cars and coffee because it's on the river it's a nice scenery and it's away from all the people who may you know think that we're trying to host something that's illegal or something like that i don't know but uh, as far as it being a nice event it will be family friendly and uh yeah people can bring their kids out and everything and have fun i plan to have donuts i do plan on buying donuts out of my pocket and uh you know just making it a nice little event but the kicker the catch is to make people want to come up there st francisville has a lot of back roads they do they have a lot of back roads they have a lot of nice country scenery a nice uh scenery especially like during the winter time because of all the fall colors and stuff but um i keep switching the camera over because <laughs> This thing is kind of heavy, I'm not even going to lie. I bring up the back roads not because I want people to go try to drive their cars as hard as they can on back roads and everything and cause danger to other people, but I do think it'll give a different vibe to the car community that we have around here because most people are used to driving on straight roads like the interstate or something or like they try to be on other people's property like parking lots and stuff and that can be kind of a pain whenever dealing with business owners and because like i said we have such a sour a sour taste in our mouths about the car community around here anyways and a lot of people don't even want to do anything anymore so this is going to be a chance for you to bring out your weekend cars track oriented sports cars not necessarily drag cars or anything but you know the cars that you want to drive on a special occasion because you like the way they feel while driving uh, i don't know if that makes sense but i'm trying to make as much sense as i can and uh with that being said i am planning on making recommended routes for uh, some of the back roads that it'll be good for you to drive on with a couple of your friends. I don't want you to go out there with a whole bunch of people in certain groups like, like 10, 12 plus cars, but I would rather it be like smaller groups, like maybe three to five cars going out and you know, just having a back road cruise together and then coming back to the spot and you know just being real civilized with it the event i don't think i want to make it that long like i don't know i want to make it a couple hours to where like a couple hours after we park so uh, i'm thinking maybe around 11 11 30 at the very latest the event will go on but if you want to stay around and like i said uh use one of the recommended routes to drive on some back roads go back there take some pictures and all of that just don't try to you know make it to where i can't host the event anymore because this is the first time that anything like this is being brought to st francisville other than you know people rent out the sports park that we have for actual car shows but uh yeah that's not really the same community in my opinion and so i'm trying to bring something like this a cars and coffee type deal to a place that looks pretty nice and uh you know a, a nice community so yeah that's pretty much uh the gist of what i wanted to talk to you guys about today other than like i said merry christmas to everybody all of the people out there who are enjoying their christmas who may not be enjoying their christmas yet but uh you know it's always gonna get better and so i just want to leave you guys with a little piece of advice a little words of encouragement and stuff uh if anything's ever been not going your way especially around holiday season where you see people putting on all kind of social media and stuff uh all the good things that they have going on or supposedly have going on and uh you know just all the people they have around them how them how much they love them and everything i can honestly say no matter how much you think people are not paying attention to you and how much you think people are against you in this world there are a lot of people who are on your side and want to see you do great they just it's not that they want to see bad out of you or anything it's just that they aren't necessarily putting effort towards want to see the best out of you and with that being said i just wanted to say like don't don't let that get to you like because just keep doing what you're doing just keep going forward just keep a level head on your shoulders and like i said there are always people out there who want to see the best in you 
don't ever feel like you're alone in this world because I honestly feel like nobody is. If you are, then you just need to look inside at yourself because it's probably something that you are choosing to do that goes against just being a good person, a quote unquote good person. I know that's subjective and uh, that's uh, different in everybody's mindset, but or it's something that you're choosing not to do and the same situation. But I don't know if that really came across like how I want it to come across, but just know that you're not alone in whatever situations that you may be going through or whatever situations that are in your mind or however you're thinking, you're not alone and other people are always there to be on your side and be in your corner. Just uh, remember that. Dang, I really feel like I chopped it up. I'm not even gonna lie, but <laughs> hopefully I did and hopefully somebody understands me. But I think this is where I'm gonna end today's video. So uh, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave some positive vibes in the comment section below. And let me know how you think this event sounds. If you think it sounds appealing to you. If you were in this area, would you want to come to it? Or would you pass on it? Because, you know, nothing ever goes right in this car community that we built. But, yeah, y'all are awesome. Y'all need to have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's. In case I don't talk to y'all by New Year's. And I should, though. I should. If I don't, let me know that. Like, go to any one of my videos and be like, hey, PJ, it's New Year's. Like, tell me Happy New Year's. <laughs> and I will do that for y'all. But, like I said, y'all are awesome. Keep being great. Keep your head up. And keep moving. I'm not going to say that. That's not my thing. That's not my thing. Always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And Merry Christmas to all of y'all.